Good morning, everyone. Yes, I'm talking to you this morning from the inside of my car. Yes, that is a little bit strange, but then I suppose everything's a little bit strange right now, isn't it? I'm sure we are all glad to see the back of 2020. What a year. Who would have thought that in 2020 we would experience a shortage of loo rolls, embark on a new friendship with a technological friend called Zoom and attend church in our pyjamas? Unfortunately, whilst there seems to be light at the end of the tunnel, we are not through it yet. And 2021 sees us beginning with much of the same that has unfortunately become all too familiar during 2020. Yes, it all sounds a bit miserable. Not much of a message for the start of the new year, I hear you say. I hope you've managed to have a really good Christmas. We've heard this morning the story of the wise men. A bit strange to be talking about this story in January, but I want us this morning to think about the word perseverance and not giving up. The wise men certainly showed perseverance. The wise men travelled for a good deal of time. The general consensus amongst scholars is that they finally arrived with Jesus not 12 days after his birth, which is what is generally celebrated today, but actually around two years later. That's a long time to be following a star on a bit of a whim that there could be something good at the end of their journey. The wise men were people that others would look to for help in tricky situations. They were people who others would watch and follow their example. They truly and wholeheartedly believed that this star was really important. They were onto something. They got stuck in and got on with it, no matter what. They persevered and with God's help and the help of their friends, they made it to their destination. What these wise men believed in made a difference to their life. During the first lockdown last year, and in the months that followed, I didn't really look after myself very well. We had food in the house that we didn't usually have, that was all too easy to snack on whilst working from home. The wife was baking more cakes than ever before, and I ended up piling on the pounds, and quite frankly, ended up looking like I was going to be giving Father Christmas a run for his money during the festive season. I had a decision to make. And towards the end of October, I finally gave in to the wife's nagging and I embarked on the Couch to 5K. The Couch to 5K is a running app that is designed to get you able to run for five kilometres within nine weeks. It's been a challenging few weeks of running as every part of my body has cried out in pain for me to stop. This week, I'll be completing the nine week challenge and boy, does it feel good feels really good. <laughs> My joy will not be as great as the joy the wise men felt when they finally met Jesus, I'm sure, but it might be pretty close. The Christian faith is all about perseverance and not giving up, as Paul reminds us in 1 Corinthians. Paul writes to the church in Corinth and likens the Christian faith to running a race. As we begin the journey into 2021, not taking anything for granted anymore. I want us to think about where our personal journey with God is at, how our race of faith is going. You see, for some of us, we might not have even started yet. I had many false starts before I finally started the Couch to 5K. And that moment when I stepped out of my house for my very first run in my running gear was quite momentous. Not least because my wife slammed the door shut behind me. Maybe 2021 is the year when you take the momentous step of faith in beginning your race with God and a relationship with Jesus. Very early on, as I embarked on the Couch to 5K programme, it became clear that I needed to pace myself and not go too fast, but instead find a comfortable rhythm. We have to pace ourselves and find a good rhythm when following God. It's not enough to rely on feelings and inspired moments that are often too infrequent. We need to read the Bible and spend time talking to God in prayer daily so that the rhythm of our God-filled heart remains constant. Maybe 
2021 is the year you make a more determined effort to improve the rhythm of your faith. I'm a sprinter by trade and running anything more than 200 metres is considered, well, stupid really. So training my body to run five kilometres has been really hard. Muscles have ached like never before and on many occasions whilst running I could have so easily given up. Is that how you're feeling about your faith this morning? Has your walk with Jesus in 2020 been such a struggle that you are at the point where you don't feel like it's worth continuing? Are you ready to give up? I really hope that that is not the case. You may have heard the story about a frog who went on a journey because he wanted to explore the world beyond the safety of his muddy pond. One day, the poor little frog fell into a large jug of cream left out by a farmer and he was convinced he was going to drown. That was until he remembered the words of his mum and dad who constantly told him to never ever give up. And so he began kicking with his legs. And as he kicked and kicked his little legs, getting all the more tired with every kick, he suddenly began to feel some lumps between his toes. The frog kept on kicking and kicking his tiny legs and eventually he found that he was sitting on something that looked like yellow mud. The cream had turned to butter and he gave one tremendous leap and was free, all because he didn't give up. Maybe this morning at the start of 2021, you need to be inspired by the frog to not give up on your faith. Maybe this morning you need to be reminded that following God requires effort and that by reading the Bible and praying daily, you can create firm, faith-filled foundations that allow you to confidently leap forward with God into all that 2021 has in store for you. We can be so inspired by the words in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. And this version that I'm going to read to you is taken from the message version. And it says this. Do you see what this means? All these pioneers who blazed the way, all these veterans cheering us on. It means we'd better get on with it. Strip down, start running and never quit. No extra spiritual fat, no parasitic sins. Keep your eyes on Jesus, who both began and finished this race we are in. Study how he did it because he never lost sight of where he was headed. That exhilarating finish in and with God, he could put up with anything along the way, cross, shame, whatever. And now he's there in the place of honour right alongside God. When you find yourself fl flagging in your faith, go over that story again, item by item, that long litany of hostility he ploughed through. That will shoot adrenaline into your souls. It's a great passage. And you see, Jesus never once lost sight of his goal. Jesus kept going and continued his journey to that goal, even when it was tough. He knew that he could do it. He had the support of his father and the support of his friends, the disciples. We can learn so much from Jesus and his example of perseverance. Let us strive to keep going for God, knowing that he will help us. And let us strive to help others along on their journey of perseverance with God too. Life isn't easy. Neither is following God. But it's far better doing life with God than without him. As we take steps in moving forward into 2021, let's make a new commitment to fully rely on God and never give up on our relationship with Jesus. Oh, 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 oh,